Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Connor Collectibles here. I hope you guys are having a great day because you're in for a treat. This is the Ghost Collector underscore Finn Ghost Face Robe from Scream 6. If you liked my last video, if you've seen the last video, you're gonna enjoy this one as well. The last robe was made from Scream Robes, and like I said, this one is made from another creator on Instagram. I'm going to put his information right here. And uh, I just want to go over the details of what this costume uh, looks like, the streamers, the differences between the Scream 1 from 1996 compared to this one. I'll probably put some photos up so you can see comparisons here and there. But uh, let's get right into it. Just like the last video, we're going to start at the hood of the robe first and work our way down through each section of the robe so you can see it in nice detail and know what you're going to purchase if you purchase this robe. Now this hooded robe has more of a thinner foam inside of it. It's kind of like the stuff that you see inside blankets, like a throw, not a throw blanket, but one of those um, comforters. And it's really thin compared to the Scream Robes uh, 1 through 4 where it has that thicker foam and it shapes it. But this one droops down a little bit, which is really nice. I love this look and how it goes under right here and comes back up and it's super thin. Gives the mask a nice shape. Now this mask, I know I didn't go over the mask in the last video. This mask goes perfectly well with the ghost face robe here because it is the newly sculpted fun world aged mask so I thought it was appropriate to put with the Scream 6 robe here. Moving down towards the chest area, center chest, you'll notice that there's a center seam going down the front of the robe itself. This is accurate to the Scream 6 ghost face even though in Scream 5 they did have a center seam as well but theirs incorporated button snaps as seen in the scene where Dewey dies and you'll see Amber has the vest on and the, the robe is open and you can see some of the snaps in that shot. This robe incorporates a snap to make sure that it stays closed at the top so you just unbutton that one and then you open it down the whole robe and like I said it goes all the way from the top down to the tassels a little thin strip of velcro which is really nice. Here we are at the sleeve now I just wanted to go over the sewing of the sleeve and how it's so different than uh, the Scream 1 through 4 robes. Now this robe incorporates that it's at the shoulder, it's a little bit over the shoulder here where it starts, but then it goes down at uh, a circ, kind of like an almost an oval shape, and it goes out here instead of just going straight down like the uh, original robes are. The reason they did this style is it keeps the pleats off the front of the robe as seen in the original sparkle robes. Now the hands, this is one of my favorite parts on the sleeve, is that these gloves are detachable from the costume itself. This helps you if you're at a convention or you know you get super hot, you can take these gloves off. Now the glove has a button snap, which is right here. And you pop that button off. That's at the top of the sleeve. Then the under part of the sleeve as well, you just pop that and the glove comes right off. Now we are at the bottom of the streamers. These streamers are not like the originals at all. Yes, there's three of them, but instead of some of them coming up almost halfway, when they come up, go back down, come up, go back down, they go all the way up to the sleeve line. Now also, they have six streamers. One sheer, one solid, one sheer, one solid, etc. going through all the tassels for the streamers. The bottom is more of a jagged edge and each one is different. So this one has two jagged, whereas this one has three. This one has two big jagged streamers or tassels on the streamers. This one has two, but it's cut there. And it just makes the robe very interesting and homemade-like, if you could say. 
and last but not least, as always, is the bottom of the robe. Now like I said at the beginning when we looked at the center of the chest, that the Velcro runs all the way down the center of the robe. What I mean by that is that it actually is all the way down. Now the tassels at the bottom of the robe are more of triangular cuts, kind of like the original robe but they're not long and they go about one inch up the bottom of the robe itself. I know I didn't cover this in the last video. Uh, that's because the boots itself weren't accurate to the 1996 uh, Scream film. But these boots were actually used in the uh, Scream 6 film. And these are the Doc Martens Combs 2 Poly Ripstop boots as seen on this tag and the box here. Now I picked these boots up on Amazon for around $80 and I have a Prime membership so they ship to me for free. These are amazing boots, they're very comfortable, and if you can get a pair, I highly recommend them. Ending the video here, I hope this video was very informational for you all and that it persuades you to get your own ghost face rope, whether that be from another creator or my good friend Ari, who's on Instagram at ghostcollector underscore fin. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and possibly share the video to all your friends so it persuades them to get their own robe as well. Enjoy these last close-up shots. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next one.